If you're following my repair robot build, you probably already saw this piece right here. This is the robot's feet. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made it using a clothes pin as the base for it. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome to Cut Transform Glow. And as you can see, I already have one of the feet of the robot and I'm going to do just the other one. I gotta say that this is my third try, the first two designs that I came up with I didn't like so I discarded them, but the third turned out really great so I kept it. And I begin this project by separating the two sides of the clothespin. And it is kinda hard to spot the clothespin as the base on the finished piece, but this is how I made it, as you guys can see right here. The first thing that I gotta do is to remove the grooves from it and I did that using my mini disc sander. For every design choice that I made on the first feet, I kept an exact copy of that piece on this plastic thing right here. Not only to ensure that I had symmetry between the two of them, but also to make my life easier on the second one. I'll use this black piece right here to join the two sides of the clothespin together. Then I glue the structure to kind of create an axis and act as the ankle of the robot. CA glue sometimes is just not the best solution for plastics and I really gotta try some other types of glue and work around it but this time I did some gusset to the glue with baking soda On the other hand, the CA glue bond between wood and plastic is really good. And I'm always checking my guide foot here just to make sure that I match and make the same design choice on the second one. Now, as I said before, the bond, the CA glue bond between wood and plastic is very strong. So I made sure to use some MDF pieces to give the whole thing more structure. But all types of pieces are used on this project, like this tiny plastic thing right here, which comes from the piece that attach flat cables to electronic circuit boards. Whenever I grab a hold of a uh, dead electronic, I always try to save these types of pieces. They are great for details. Mm -hmm. 
this section right here is the front of the feet and I'm adding some plastic and some things to kind of hide the fact that this is a clothespin after all. This right here is my collection of tiny metal pieces and for the front of the feet I'm grabbing this one which I believe are used in the clothes industry. I'm also adding some details to the back of the feet and this plastic round white thing here came from old cassette tapes. With these MDF pieces I'm trying to kind of create an axis that would attach later to the leg of the robot. But first, I just gotta match the MDF piece to the curve of the clothespin. If any of you guys have a suggestion of an object that would make for a great scratch build challenge, leave me a comment and I'll try to do that for the next one. Now I gotta make this big structure right here and this one is actually a combination of pieces MDF and acrylic I would like to take a moment right here to invite you guys to support the channel if you like the content please consider subscribing also hit the like button and leave me a comment I always make sure to reply to all of them and if you want to go one step further I have a coffee account where you can donate me some money and this is really helpful so the link is on the description box below This back structure fits right here in the back almost perfectly so it was only required just a couple of drops of CA glue to keep it all in place. Now the fit is almost complete. I just gotta glue this acrylic piece on the side. I'm trying to match the angle from the first one. And now all there's left to do is to add the wires, but before I do that I'll just put the coat of primer. Priming is almost my favorite part of any scratch build project. This is when things come together and you kind of forget this is almost 100% junk glued together. So now I'm just going to put the wires and this is done. And this right here shows why I like to use pieces that have holes to it and also why I made MDF pieces that have holes because they give me the opportunity to add wires to it and make the model really really interesting. Now 
the final touch is this structure right here in the front and to make that I'm using this galvanized wire And this is how I made both feet of the robot out of a clothespin. And if you haven't seen the repair robot build videos, I'll put the links in the description box. If you came this far in the video, thanks so much. Leave me a comment. I'll try to reply to all of them. And as always, thanks for watching.